What's up guys, welcome back, welcome to some Automobilista 2 and today we're going to be ripping about in this Formula V12 Now this is roughly from about 1995 I would say, it's this car's pretty much, I think it's based on this Ferrari This has got a mod installed for the um, skins, it's from Airfry, one of the best modders for EMS2 I'll leave the link in the description, but anyway guys, this car was one of my, it was probably my least favourite out of all of the F1 cars I just thought it was far too loose, it had no grip at the front end the rear as soon as you looked at the throttle it just slides all over and you know a car with a lot of downforce it should have felt a lot more planted now there's been a, quite a few updates and I haven't drove it, I'm going to jump into this thing and drive, see if we can drive it <laughs> like we normally do I haven't drove it, like I think we're on 1.55 now guys I've had some great updates but anyway, I just thought we'll get this back out and see if I actually like it again. You never know, I might, because I generally have not tried it. But it looks beautiful, doesn't it, in that livery. This is a livery from Airfry, guys. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, I'm waiting for the 1993-92 ones to come out so we can get some of them videos going. But I have got videos made from the past. The way they get uploaded doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter guys, but, but this is the Formula V12, we're going to take it to Montreal, so put your sim belts on, let's see if I like it now. Right guys, here we go, give it a rev, listen to that, that sounds, whoa, I missed the lights a little bit, that sounds very fruity, doesn't it? Maybe off the go in the Formula V12, well I finally like this car, wow, oh, lovely, lovely weird feeling in the force feedback already, nice feeling coming through from the curves, but yeah guys, this car just didn't feel right to me, out all in. It's much better actually, put its power much down, much better there. We just jumped into this, have not done any practice, just like we normally do. Oh, I feel that there. But already, the car just feels so much more stable. Right up, you can see the understeer start to build up there, down in the second gear. But we've got a great skin mod on here as well, from air fry. Right, feed the power in. Look at that, oh wow, that's so different. It's like driving a totally different car already. That's a couple of corners. Oh, can we get up the inside? Very late on the brakes. Well, oh, a little bit of rotation through the power in. Stamp on the power. It just sticks. Wow. That, I know I say wow a lot, but that is like a totally different car. It doesn't, it just feels so, so much more planted already. Let's get down to second. I probably just could have flicked it up the inside there. Like on the power in first gear. It's, look how it just grips and goes there. Went like... See about a year ago before these major updates came out. If you come out to that small corner there at Montreal, you would have just lost the rear instantly. I'm hard on the brakes nice and early. But the eye need to get up the speed a little bit. Oh, the curb feeling though feels brilliant. Little bit of from the rear there. It's getting the slips through. So the reason I thought we had DRS there, but <laughs> can we get up the inside as the late breakers? Nice. But look at this guys, I've just jumped into this here. I feel like pretty confident in it already. Oh, I feel the power in. But look at that, it just grips. It just grips and goes. This feels brilliant. Oh, yeah, I think more people are a little bit on this there. I'm not totally on the, on, on the absolute limits yet. Like, I'm still trying to find that, but... Wow, major difference here. Like, when I go in, like, I went in a little bit too hot on the front end of the car there. You could feel the understeer coming, but... It's just so much more planted. Maybe it's reach out for the same thing. I'm not sure if other people thought the same thing because when I seen people driving this car in videos, everybody seemed to like it. But for me, it just didn't feel right. It was far too loose everywhere. It was just, it felt like it. Yeah, I've heard people saying this thing feels a little bit floaty at times. Now, it, I don't think that at all, but this car, out of all of them, if you're going to say any of them felt floaty, this would have been it. Oh, yeah, the eyes started to come up, come up the speed a little bit now, but what an engine though, isn't it? I think the fifth and the sixth, oh, oh, oh wow, bloody hells, bells, that was pushing it out nice and early on the brakes, out the second gear, just click the front end, while the wheel doesn't half kick when, you, when you're hitting them curbs, past the wall of champions, will it be the wall of champions before the end of this race? Well guys, what I've done as well is, I've put the weather on random for the second half of the race, so the second off the race, it might rain, anything can happen. Just thought we'd randomise it. Like on the power there, just look how well it's put its power down. I don't know if that's... This is the first proper go I've had since the latest update as well. And it, it feels just totally different. It just feels brilliant like. Oh, look at that. So planted. 
it's all plan. It's how a Formula One car should feel now. Like if you're on the fence about trying the MS2 and you think, oh, right, it's not for me, just give it a go. It's well worth having in your collection. Just all the, it's very immersive. All the different styles of classic Formula One races you can like recreate. That's what where its power is for me. It doesn't have to be the most realistic sim out there. It just has to be enjoyable and fun to drive. And this is very fun to drive for me. Up on the brakes, can we get up the inside? Now, real drivers we've got here as well. He's swung up a little bit. Max Verstappen starts actually in this pack as well, right on the power. It's Olivier Panis and Rubens Barrichello who we're chasing down. Woohoo! Flat chat. Absolutely flat. Wow, that's. You can see why they've changed that corner, can't you? It's so quick. I'm going on the brakes nice and early, mate. Don't want to make no silly moves. See if we can get them nice and fair. Look on the power. Really early there. Lost the rear a tiny bit at the end of the end of the travel when we fought the pedal. Come and send it to it. Wow, well, that was a bit risky that. I'm not the best racer, like I feel a bit rusty if I'm honest. But holding on to it. This is my actual first attempt as well at driving this car. But if it does rain, that's just gonna totally transfer it's gonna totally change things for me. Because I cannot drive in the rain. But there, when I was going into there, right, I could really feel the front end of the car digging into the track. And when I started peeling off the brakes, you could feel like the front end, you could feel the it's hard to explain, but I could really feel how predictable the car was. It felt believable. The way the load come off the front axle of the car. That's that's really good that. It's, what we just done with this sim now, the past couple updates, is like it's really good to see people actually enjoying it now. You know, because it is a good sim, you know, like if you say it's not, you're just a hate on my eyes. I mean, it's, it's, no, it's not the most realistic sim out there. But what I do like about it, you can be really consistent when you're driving. Like if you make mistakes, it's, it, 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 it hasn't got hidden hate in the background. If you make mistakes, it, it does punish you, but it's just easier to be consistent, I feel. And that's what I think I like about it. I thought it was someone up the inside. Come on, get up the inside, maybe. Ooh, down to second gear. It's moved them off. Well, yeah. On the power. Trying to go on the power so early. Oh, I hit the grass. Wow. That was nearly a wall of champions moment, wasn't it? In the fifth. But, oh, hey, we've got a little bit of a... Got a job on my hands here. Yeah, trying to get past Panis, like. Can we go around the, the long way around, maybe? Right. If you'll understand there. Right. Nah, still couldn't get it. But look how much traction I've got. Coming out the corners now. That first corner there is the best test for cars for the, how the oversteer is. Because most cars will let go when you come back on the power. But this, it's gripping up brilliantly now. We'll turn in, hit the curbs, and again, feed the power in nice and stamp on the power there. Oh, I see it didn't like that. <laughs> Gotta be a lot more smoother than it when you're coming on the power. But what a, what a transformation. What a, it's like a totally different car. It feels like like it's had the work put into it, like a lot of the other F1 cars. It feels quite capable actually. You can really feel it downforce loading up on the front end of the car when it gets some speed. Can we get around the outside maybe? Two wide, oh, right feel the front tyre scrubbing there. Okay, <laughs> Went in there to what? Took a little bit of understeer. <laughs> oh, I need to sort the pits out. Damage off, right? Don't crash, bandit. Forgot about that, didn't I? Tyres. On a soft. Watch it, Liam. We're gonna I'll probably just have to pick a wet right with sort again. Nice. Feed the power in. Nice. That was brilliant. What a car. I'm gonna drive this car more now. What I like to do, guys, is wait and get and record my actual first reactions and I like making videos on the cars when I've when it's my first go trying them. Just to see because I think that's the best way you can get a feeling for how the updates actually work. That's when you can really see what Rich has actually done. So I've, I've been waiting to drive this one. I was going to do a full rain video because John Lacey actually won this race in 1995, but it was actually wet. And it, it's actually the only race John Lacey ever won for Ferrari. Right on the power there. Nice. Oh, I just couldn't hold it. In the fourth. Fifth, but the engine sounds lovely. Ah, oh, it's just a screamer. When we come out the pits, we'll have a couple of quiet ones and have a proper listen to Feed the power in there. But when I'm coming on the power there, I can feel the like, rear axles starting to load up. And then when you start getting speed on, you can feel the front end of the car getting pushed into the track. There's loads of like little feelings coming through the force feedback. Now, I've heard some people saying that this is starting to feel more like R-Factor 2. 
But I haven't drove off Factor 2 yet, so I can't really comment on that. But there's just so much crap that you like, that does come through the wheel. Especially if you have got a direct drive wheel, like hard on the brakes. The wall of trumpings. Trying to get on the power so early, right there. I keep hitting the grass though. <laughs> I thought I was so lucky to hold on to that there. Eh? In the fifth. What a noise this thing's making. I'm watching for the weather because, like I say, this second half race coming. Send up the inside. Made the moves stick, little bit of block maneuver. Nice one. Back on the power. Trying to control the rear. Oh, lovely jubbly we got Panis. See you later, Panis. <laughs> nice. That was a nice little bit of nice little bit of racing there. I've got the aggression on medium. Because I've got a comment saying that if you put the aggression on medium, that's how the script written for the AI to actually be. Because when I used to use it on maximum, that means they're all just going to be nutters. So let's see, let's test if that is. Right in the fourth. Nice little job we've done there though on Panis. So we've got Barrichello next. Let's put some fear into him, try and get him to make a mistake. Oh, a little bit of oversteer out of the rear. Very predictable though. See, I do feel like we're a little bit faster than the AI. Come and get a big send. Right, nice and late on the brakes. I was thinking about it. Try first. Right, feel it, feel it, feel it. On the power. Short shift into second. Ah, uh, nah. On the power too early there. Lost a little bit of ground. Into fourth, fifth. Got to think about pitting soon. Couple more laps and I think we'll pit. Revving it out. Into six. Top gear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's fast, man. The gearing feels like it's done really well for this track as well. Barrichello mate, I think you're holding us up now. If you look, the more and more we're driving guys, I'm getting a much better feel for this car. But it looks like it's starting to get a bit cloudy. Looks like it's going to rain up the inside of Barrichello. You might hold the inside line, contact. Contact, sorry. Right, the outside, hold the outside line. Can I hold it? No, he held his line good. Oh, good racing Barrichello, well done young man. He's not such, ah, he's not such a young man no more. Wow, I went way too hot on the brakes in there. Right on the power third, bring it out in the fourth. Oh, I really on the limit for where that felt brilliant, but look how dark it's getting. It's gonna rain, isn't it? Feet going. Oh, that feels so much better into there. The tyres are actually getting a good workout as well. I feel like I'm finding the limits of drift quite a bit. I feel like I am anyway. I just need to clip the curb on the inside. Oh, oh all out of shape from there in the third. I'm hanging off pitting because. Looks like it's going to rain, doesn't it? It really does. Right, hard on the brakes. So there's no point in pitting yet. Sorry guys, that's just my phone beeping. Right, feed the power in. My phone's going to ring, isn't it? It always does when I'm making a video. Right, third, into fourth. Let it out. What is it? 18,000 RPM or something we're hitting. Into six, top gear. Then that out. There's not really much of a straight though. To make some big moves, is there? Right, nice and early on the brakes. Turn in. So if you get a nice line through there, if I could get a much better line coming out of that last corner, we would be able to get him I feel, we might be able to send it into turn one, on the brakes, on the right. don't hit with, whoa, Clear. really chop the nose off a bit there, right, can we get, get up the inside, nah, back on the power, look how much better the car's put its power down, there, right, nice. I'm really holding off the pits, because it really, what will happen if I pit now, right? We're going to pit and then it's going to rain as soon as we come out of the pits, isn't it? Right, letting it out. Hard on the brakes. Down to third, second. I feel the power in already. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Now I'm flat. Couldn't get on the power now, say. I can feel the dirty air as well coming off the car. Should we pit? We're going to have to pit. Right, box, box. We're coming in. We're just going to take the risk. See if it does rain. Oh, nice. Third. We might be able to jump them in the pits anyway if we can get a good in lap and an out lap. So look the inside maybe. Oh, nah, is that rain? Looks like it's spitting rain, doesn't it? Is it rain? No, no, it looks a bit sunny down here. Stuff it, we're just coming in for some soft tyres. Doesn't matter. If we last, we last. But we're having a blast. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! six. Let's go. Right, we should be able to do Barrichello in the pits. See you coming in? Nah, right, get ready for me, pit limiter, pit limiter on, the first gear, does anybody else come in, just us at the minute, wow, have a little breather, but guys, I'm enjoying this car, it's it's so much better than I thought it was going to be already, right, hit me marks, nice, a well, nice fast stop, please don't rain, right, on the power, and we're off, nice, that was decent actually, wasn't it, pit limiter engaged, 
Get ready to unleash the beast. V12 power off. Right, oh nice, right. Let's see what these tyres like. Oh, we've got someone all over the back row already. Turn in. Feed the power in. Oh, that's so much better that. Who is it? We've got Monte, I can't read his name properly. Monte Many or something, Chase somewhere. Right, on the power now. Let's see if we can put some flyers in at the end of the lap. Really try and push the limit to this tyre. I'll tell you what we'll do actually guys, we'll have a couple of quiet ones and give this V12 a good listen after this lap I think. Oh on the power nice, that was a little bit wide though. Because it does sound good doesn't it? It sounds different, it sounds like they've, it sounds like they've done something with the engine. It didn't sound, it always sounded good but right on the power, listen to that thing. <laughs> oh guys this is, now I'm, I'm going to drive Go and try this car, if you know what I mean, what it used to be like. You know exactly what I'm on about. Right, turn in, feed the power in. Little bit of oversteer there, someone catching me. Might have thought someone was catching me there. But we're absolutely flying here, in the fifth. Like, this is genuinely my first attempt at driving this car. So I've just jumped on, stick it on, bosh, and we're away. Well, it's a bit slow when you're not following the car, isn't it? Down to second gear, turn in, up. Oh. The wheel doesn't off kick when you come out there, we're right on the power. Right guys, let's have a couple of quiet ones and give this V12 a good listen. Let's give this thing some welly. whatever they had and just totally started again what it feels like it feels like they've updated more like the 1992 cars the formula high techs it feels like it's on them levels now where it really it felt quite floaty to me like look at that so planted through there i can just feel the understeer starting to come but it just feels very gradual like it's coming on nice and gradually it's not all over the place it felt like the car was just 
Every time I looked at the throttle, there was oversteer. Every time I really tried to attack the corner, there was understeer. Like, granted, I, I do just use the um, default setup. I do that in all the videos. But this feels brilliant, like in the fifth, and the sound of the engine. Woohoo! Just so immersive having these real guys to race against as well. I feel like we're a little, little bit quicker than some of them as well, like on the power in second. We're quite far back, but I think quite a few of them ahead of us still need to pit. And I do feel like we're, we've caught these pretty quick in the six. What you all know, what a brilliant circuit this is, isn't it? This track just feels like it was made for it. And it breaks nice and early. Turn in. The wall of champions, champions, right nice. Just so much grip. It just feels very planted like a Formula 1 car should feel. I'm quite interested to go and drive the McLaren, I think it's the MP410, come get up the inside. Nice little bit of a racing move, oh, nearly got some contact. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Got him, clear. <laughs> Martini, see you later Martini. I'll have a drink with you later. Shake and not stirred. Woohoo! Nice, oh there's that. Look at that, it looks like we're following Lewis Hamilton with the Patronas. Sticker, hey hey, who is it? Red Slinger. Red Slinger. Let's get Red Slinger. Let it feed the power of nice. Oh, lovely. So much traction there as well. How many? We've got about three laps left. Can we get a big send? Very late move on the brakes. Lovely. Up the inside. Leave room on the inside okay. from. Feed the power in. Oh, we've got him. Oh, nice. Another move done. In the 15th. But remember, a lot of these do have to pick up. Guys, we are absolutely flying here. Got the EI on, on 100% as well. Through the power. Oh, I nearly pulled my headphones off my head there. Little wiggle from the rear. In the fourth. In the fifth. Really revving it out. Drop it in the comments what you think of the sound. If you like the channel, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It's about 80% of you who watch the videos are not subscribed. You know? On the second row. Oh, oh, that felt dodgy, that. That wasn't the best line. I'm not talking. But look, we're pulling away from him already. Two laps left. Come on, let's really put some flyers in. Don't be second. Nearly kiss the apex, right? Let's try first. Right, first. Short shift in the second. Oh, that feels really good. What a track. This is the 1991 version of Montreal as well, I think. But, but um, you can't really use the curbs as much as you can on the modern one. Actually quite high. Look at that there. That's a great test for understeer going through there. That's a great test. You can just feel it. Just up. Just on the limits of, of understeer coming through. In the third, fourth, and then out. Who are we chasing? We're chasing Mika Soro. <laughs> yeah, Mika Soro ended up driving for Ferrari as well. Oh, got we out of shape there. We out of shape. I felt like there was somebody on the inside where right? in the fifth. It's getting really late on the brakes. Really trying to push this car now. Down the first, wow. Overshot it a tiny bit. Through the current. Second. Nice, but what a transformation, right, guys? It feels like a totally different car. I'm actually quite shocked. You know, I'm, I'm shocked, but I'm not. Like, I should have known Rita, like, would do this. Because, obviously, they know. They must have knew that this car didn't feel right, you know. They must have. But, like, I think i seen a video where they said they've done something with this car. I think it was a while ago now. I'm not exactly sure, but that was not a bad. That's the fastest lap the race we've put in yet. That was seven tenths quicker than any other lap we've done. Nice. Get on the power, try second. Feed the power in. Third. This is the last lap, guys. See if we can make any more places up. Wow, look at that, really on the rag the edge here. But what I don't understand is, when we're pitted, we're in either ne ninth or tenth. Where now, for some reason, we've lost a lot of places where I feel like we're actually a bit faster than most of these mid-pack guy, mid guys. That's what I feel anyway. In that slipstream, can we get a last of the lead break? That's big send on the final lap. Can we? Big send. Oh, almighty oh, send that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, nice. Let's leave him room though. He's, he's coming back over. We're going to have to block this inside line. He's going to try and get what I feel. Right, let's go that inside line. Nice and early. Oh, he's half in back. Leave room for him. Feed the power in. Where is that? Feet. Oh, oh, we just got it. <laughs> I was really late to come back on the power as well. Oh, this is going to be some mad stuff coming into this last last corner. We've got a little bit extra power on the lower field. We're going to have to get night eyes all over. Really late on the brakes. Down to second, throw it in. 
Uh, we've just got the speed day, haven't we? Whoa, yeah! Guys, I'm dripping the sweat already, but that was absolutely brilliant stuff. Wow! What a great immersive experience. Wow, yeah guys, I know I say wow a lot, but that, that has really, really surprised me. I was not, uh, like, when I thought of this video, right, I'd just seen it, I was like, the V12, like, right, because I never drive it at all. And I haven't drove it, I had no plans to drive it, and I was like, oh wait, we've had all these updates, and a lot of cars have been totally transformed, so let's give it a whirl, and let's record it. And I was not expecting this to feel this good, it just felt so planted. You can see that little wiggle from the rear coming out the corner, you can see the tyres digging into the track. When you're going into a fast corner, you can feel the front end really digging into the track, and when you're peeling off the brakes, you can feel the like, all the load coming off the tyres. There's a lot of little feelings that if you look and really concentrate on what's coming through your force feedback, there's a lot of little minute moments, what I've noticed, what really come through now, and they really made this car feel very enjoyable to drive. And with having these real drivers and that, just that was an absolute blast. Oh, big send up the inside there. But I felt like we were flying. Somehow we finished in 14th or 15th, where I feel like we should have been in 7th or 8th. That was very strange how that worked out, because we were just passing a lot of cars, no bother, you know. But what a hoot. Let us know in the comments if you, what you think of this car now. And I'll leave the um, link in the description for this mod. I would highly recommend you installing it. It's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, guys, I think we'll leave it there for today then. Thank you so much for watching. Good love you and leave you. Peace from the Northeast. Doodles.